okay. We'll come to McLeod. And now, we got this roll. We will do now the powdering using a rubberized, rubberized powder. Okay. Okay. So this is our design. Oh, we have a guest here. This is Mr. Jose. And so we will come to McLeod, Mr. Jose. So we have two designs. One we will put the white rubberized powder and the other one is black. So we will start with the with the white. Make sure that everything's covered. covered check it out say so that's a black this is a rubberized see the word rubberized powder okay now you will use again the, the black so this is the black So this is the design. Still maintain the color, but at the back, it started to get black. All right. So now we will do the hot melt. That's why there's a. If the machine will do it, it's really clean. It's really good. See. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay black right see it's black all right okay so we'll show you after the power after the curing we'll show you the results and so now this is the result now of our black powder so this is the design the g inky studio 90 that's for mr jose and so so this is the design look at this but the back now it's black so this one would really this would separate the 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 color not to go to the black shirts. The bleeding. The bleeding. Oh, it will not bleed there, right? The bleeding problem. No. So this is the reason why they use the black uh, black uh, powder. powder. But uh, yeah. So let's, let's see this one. You see this color? This is like wh white and light colors. So when you put it in the black, the black shirt will. I don't know well they will penetrate to the black shit but because of the black powder that's when it was in there so it will protect the color so they will make the color vibrant for the black shirts it will stand out okay so we will get the other one 30 seconds more so look at this guys check See? And this is the design. They stuck the the black, the white one. Okay. So the next thing now is to put this in shirt and you should see how it feels. This is the white, and still this is the design. So let's see what's the difference. So this is the white, right? And see the front. Is there a difference in the front? Can you put the front to say? Check the difference. So the color is just the same. Or oh, this this one is more white there. It's clearer, right? Mm -hmm. It's clearer. The the blue compared to yeah, the black it's one. Much clearer. Yeah. Okay. 
So, well, but for here, it's, it, it's this the same, right? Mm -hmm. For the down. So that is black for Jose, and this is the white. So, what matter is this one, it will change, this one, it will change the moment that you press this on the shirts. Because it has a white powder. But the feel are different, guys. I can feel the difference. It's really like a rubberized. This is like a rubberized uh, uh, powder. So we will see the difference once you put that in the shirts. But for now, so our video now is up to the to show you the difference. So we have a ordinary powder, black and white. It's your choice now between black and white. And we have the rubberized powder, black and white. And there's another one coming, which is a rubberized for low temperature. So you can, the powder will start to melt at low temperature. So welcome to MacLeod and see you again for the next video.